morning. It is currently 11.24 on Wednesday, December 6th. Um, we have gotten a very late start to the morning. We woke up around 10, 10.30. Um, and an hour and a half later, I am eating breakfast. I'm eating avocado on toast. But the plan for today is to go to King's Cross and kind of hang out in that area and then go to Coven Gardens Christmas Market because I heard it was really cool. So that's what we're gonna do. The unfortunate thing about London is that it gets this bright in the morning and I'll show you. It looks like that. So it's like really gray and cloudy. I like it. It's really nice. Um, some people call it, some people here call it fake sun, which I think is freaking hilarious and so true. Um, but yeah, the fake sun comes up around like 8.30 in the morning and then it becomes nighttime at 3.30 in the afternoon. So we lose sunlight very quickly here. Um, so yesterday when we went into Harrods around like 1, 1 30 and we came out at like 3 30 and it was already like getting dark. The fake sun was setting. Um, we were, we tried going to Chelsea and we went to Chelsea and we hung out there for a little bit, but it was just like so late and so dark. Uh, it wasn't so late. It was just really dark, which made it feel like it was late. And when it gets darker earlier, you feel tired. Um, more tired quicker or sooner you feel tired sooner than you normally would so you feel tired at 4 o'clock 4 30 when you really should be feeling tired at like 8 o'clock and 8 o'clock feels like 10 o'clock and yeah the Sun um, the amount of time that the Sun is the fake Sun is out is a bit ridiculous I think a major tip that I've learned in London is that you go to an area and you explore that area. Don't try to do all those crazy things unless you're on a tour bus and you can see all the sights. I think that is something that I would have done differently my first time around. But I'm kind of glad that we did it that way because then we got to experience what it's really like to commute and travel within London and how big London is. Which is great so it gives us that like first-hand experience of what it's like to live in London um, kind of like a real Londoner without being a real Londoner so yeah but yesterday was successful because I got a bunch of tea for my friends and tea for myself and I got Harrods hot chocolate as well um, shout out to my friend Josh who told me that Harrods has the best tea haven't tried it but I trust his opinion so that's the only tea that we bought for other people and him and myself and I got myself M&S tea and it's good it's just interesting like I can't leave it out I can't leave it in the cup to steep too long because then it creates this like film over the tea and it looks weird and it doesn't taste any different I tasted it but it just like freaks me out so I don't, I don't mess with that tea. Um, but I mean, I'm still gonna drink it. I'm just not gonna leave it steeped as long um, because it just kind of freaks me out a little bit. Um, but anyways, I will hopefully see you at King's Cross. We're gonna try to make it to like the British Library. I think that would be really cool to go into there because it's near, it's kind of near King's Cross area. Um, and then we'll go to Covent Garden because that's closer to King's Cross and then after that we will head home. I think tomorrow we are going to try to see the London Bridge because that's something that I would really like to see is the London Bridge while we're here because we've seen the House of Parliament. We have thought we saw the London Bridge but we didn't. <laughs> um, we thought we were on it. My grandma kept insisting that it was and I was like I don't think it is but she was like no it really is and then I was like nope. And then I looked at it and I was like, yeah, this is not it. <laughs> so we saw the House of Parliament. We saw Big Ben, which is under construction, as you guys already seen. And um, we saw the London Eye. I just really want to see London Bridge 
the British Library is supposed to be beautiful and so I want to go see that today and then King's Cross because you know King's Cross has a lot to offer and then Harry Potter station I just I need to see it I need to be able to get that picture that's the one thing but the next time I come to London for sure I'm gonna do it different and a lot better um, hopefully with go to Sky Garden for one and then see a symphony. I think that would be really cool to see a symphony, but we just kind of planned too late for that and um, that's okay. We I have a lifetime to come back to London and London is beautiful. I think just coming out not this like late in, in the year, maybe early in the year might be a lot better. So yeah, anyways. I'll see you guys at King's Cross. It's ready? It's recording? Yeah, it's recording. So all I have to do is just point it to it. Yeah, and then you just take the photo on this one. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna put this on the ground. <sighs> oh. Hold on. You're recording. Hold on, it's on it's on video. It's on it, video. You want this on video? Just swipe it. Oh, no, no, you're recording now. But she don't want to record it. Yeah, get off that. She wanted to... There you go. That's what I'm going to now. Oh, okay. Zoom in. There you go. That's it? Yeah, so just take that photo. There we go. Now one for me. Okay. One more. One more. Oh, hold on, hold on. One more. One more. Because I got this scarf. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh. Ready. Ready. Okay. You got it? Yeah. Look, check it out. All right, I will. Let me get out.
But I think I'm gonna end the night right here. Basically, today was pretty good. Went to King's Cross, that was our first stop. And went to the nine and three quarters um, square uh, at King's Cross for Harry Potter. And they have a whole Harry Potter shop. You can pay for the photo that they take, um, but you can also have someone like of your family or friend that you're with take your own picture as well for free. So you don't have to pay for the professionally done photo that they do. Um, but yeah, that was great. And then we went to Covent Garden. Um, oh no, after that we went to the British Library, which was really cool. And looked at a little art exhibition and kind of just rested there for a little bit. And then we went to Covent Garden to the little um, market that they had. It's not a Christmas market, although it felt like it. Um, it's just like a regular, it's called Apple Market that they have. And then we ate at a pub downstairs underground, which is really cool. I had apple cider. It was like 4.5% volume alcohol. It was really, really good. I really liked it. It was really nice and light. They also had other like fruity flavors. I'm just not like that much of a beer person but my grandma had I'm pretty sure it was a blue moon because that's what it tasted like because that's the only kind of beer that I can do is a blue moon um, every now and then and not be like super fussy about it so that's what she got and she got um, fish and chips I got barbecue wings and a little bit of her chips and um, then we went to Boots got her her hot water bottle, which I'm going to use on my feet right now. <laughs> Hopefully that warms up. I should probably take off my socks first. Ooh, this is really close. Mm -hmm. um, what else did we do? Yeah, and then we stopped at Sam's Chicken, obviously, and came home. It is like 7.30, and it's been dark for the past three and a half hours. So it gets like pitch black at like 3.45, 3.30. And so, and we left the house around 12.30. So we only had like a couple hours to kind of be out. But I mean, we went to a couple places. Tomorrow, um, we're gonna go see the London Bridge because I really want to see that. Um, and also go to, where else was I saying I wanted to go? Oh, Harrods, because my grandma wants to get herself some hot chocolate. So that's what we're going to try to do tomorrow. I think there's another sh place that I wanted to go, but I can't remember. Oh, Kyoto Gardens. I want to see if we can go there. So if we can make three stops, we're going to try to leave early in the morning. I'm pretty sure we can make those three. Um, I really want to go to Kyoto Gardens because I love Japanese gardens, and this was donated from Japan to London, and I think, I mean, that in itself is huge. And my grandma's listening to a video. So, um, I'll see you tomorrow and I'll leave you guys here. Bye!